you can see them jump around. That's what they say. That's what they tell you. They want you to believe, and that's what you should believe. Well, first semi-final, Georgia Tech and Wisconsin. In this tournament, Georgia Tech. We'll talk about Georgia Tech and Wisconsin, how they got here. Both of them double-digit seeds. Weren't expected to do well, but they did. St. Georgia Tech. I'm predicting Georgia Tech, West Virginia Tech final. And Georgia Tech will kick first. So we'll talk about the Wisconsin and how they got to this part. That will go to Winbush. Winbush, and he's down to 22. Wisconsin came in as a 10th seat as the, in the Rose Bowl bracket. They were drawn against Western Kentucky. They got the home game against WKU. And Clay gets pumped for a win. Then they were going, then they went to Orlando for the Champs Bowl against Utah. And shockingly, on the last play of the game, they ended up being a touchdown. Wilson! Pressure. Randolph. Randolph. Would be the pass. Well, Wisconsin then went to El Paso to face Minnesota for, an, for a spot in the Elite Eight. And shockingly, Minnesota hung on until double overtime. It's a fumble! Oh, GG. He's dropped by the defense. And then Wisconsin went to Pasadena in the Rose Bowl against Michigan, the one seed. And they shot them 27-21 in overtime. And it will be Bailey. Bailey's got room. Bailey's got room. Oh my lord, he is gone. See ya. Holy thing to run. About that, Bailey, a 56-yard punt return for a touchdown. Well, when Scott beat Michigan at the Rose Bowl, they had quite a time. Everyone that Michigan deserved it. Wisconsin has not faced any cream puffs, seating wise. That's bad. Oh. No. The funny thing about this game is that this is the first time when Wisconsin's faced a team that's actually a lower, a worse seed than they are. Because Wisconsin's beaten the seven, the, the one, two, six, and seven seed in the Rose Bowl group. That's bad to the end zone. Yes! Touchdown, Hartman! To the back of the end zone, and that was definitely a touchdown. So, what pass fell? Two yards. Yeah, some say Wisconsin deserves it more because they took out four of the top eight seeds themselves. Choice. It's it at the 49. Play was responsible for the touchdown for Wisconsin. They've 
Short it again, first down. just want to run the clock down. just surrendered. So Georgia Tech's in the final. Can you believe Georgia Tech? Well, let's just get the scoring some race to the play. Bailey's punt return, that's led to Hartman make it, and then Clay for your run, Sison's 55 yarder. Who knew he could kick from that distance? But, uh, well, we have this big game. BYU Virginia Tech. So anyway. Virginia Tech and how we got out of the Fiesta Bowl. Here's the kick. Royal takes it to 14. 
Virginia Tech was forced into a, uh, what do you call it? A neutral site game against Tulsa and Utah State. BT. So it's Houston that they were not worthy of the number one status. And took away by Tyler. And the Virginia Tech went to the death row against Boise and people were like, you know what? Boise's got this one. Or so we thought. Virginia Tech used their smartness against Boise. There's option George. Oh. That was nearly going to be a first down and then some. So Virginia Tech has faced two double-digit um, opponents. They beat the number one team. Look out, George. Oh, they said no. Good old defense. Open the end Navy? Had Navy. And they nearly choked in the first round to Navy. You gotta remember that BYU was up 13-7 with under a minute left and the Navy got within the five yard line and then they went for a play action. They went for a speed option. Oh, terrible throw. And then BYU faced Bama in Hawaii after getting that big fumble. That was the biggest fumble of BYU this far because they wouldn't have faced Bama. And they would have beaten, would not have beaten Bama. Probably would have given Bama a chance. Guns it. Guns it. No. They ended up messing it all up as Memphis got a touchdown with less than a minute left to make it three. Well, up to Spurlock! Touchdown, BD! Wow, wow, wow. Spurlock. What a catch. This game is almost all but over. I mean, 17 points. They recovered the fumble. BYU recovered the onside kick. They went for three. Why would he do that? I think they were like, well, we got this one. Me? I think so too. But anyway, BYU blew a 10 point. Memphis scored a last second play. Young to Manning. Inside the tag. I know they are going to lose, but you know what? At least they don't want to get you out. So anyway, 
Memphis. Memphis got lucky. Yeah, I'm I'm having the passer call, that actually got the ball in shot in field goal range, and Memphis kicked away, kicked the field goal. Run it in. And then overtime heroics by both teams was solved in. In BYU winning a triple overtime. Let him in, oh! No, they didn't let him in. And CT is going to send BYU to a pathetic shutout. 20 to nil. So that is just, yeah, that's game. That's obviously game. So it's the battle of the techies. DT and BT will battle each other in the final. Now let's just get the, oops, sorry, wrong thing. Let's just get the box score here. George got that, a run for a touchdown. Cutler hit a 48-yarder. Kraft Spurlock and then Cutler hit a 40-yarder. Dave Cutler is a pretty good, kicker. He might be my guy. But anyway, Georgia Tech will take on Virginia Tech in the championship game in a couple days. Stay tuned. It's surprising that these two teams are in a rivalry. Wait, why does that say South Carolina State? That can't be right. Okay, that's not right. 4 a.m. against South Carolina State. That's not right. Ah, they screwed up. But, um, anyway, it's the battle of the attacks. GT and BT.
and watch football. He dives and scores. He's gonna come to the back. He sees it. One guy, two guy. No, past two guys and in for the touchdown.
and her 11 and her down. The same point, two for two. The Hokey are lining up with three receivers. Hokey, going deep. Deep, it's good by Randall. It's deep. And Randall has displaced the turner for Georgia Tech. And did it. Georgia Tech has shot the turner. They shot everybody. Are you kidding me? Georgia Tech is going to win this tournament. They scored a 13 to 7. Wow. Georgia Tech has shot everybody. They are the 2017 tournament champions. Georgia Tech. Another unexpected team. Louisville shot them well. Now, gee, Georgia Tech has surprised everyone. Well, this chapter of the rivalry will come. Folks, it's been a lot of fun. And I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one. Georgia Tech, 13. Virginia Tech, 7. Stats and scores. Final stats. Game stats. First downs, they both got seven. Total offense, Virginia Tech had more total offense than GT. They did run the ball as often as George Tech did. Look at that. 10 for 24. They were more passing yards. 160 passing yards for Crouch. Both sacked. Third down conversions, Virginia Tech deserved it. Fourth down, George Tech went for it once. Red zone. One for three. Turnovers. That's that's where they get you. Five turnovers, five picks. Why Georgia Tech won? They picked Kraft off five times. I was actually thinking that it was going to definitely be... I'm thinking Georgia Tech might have this one. And I was right, Georgia Tech won. Punt return yards, kick return yards, total yards. Virginia Tech beat them in total yards. Punts, well, Georgia Tech beat them. They both only suffered one pallet. Time of possession, that's how I Georgia Tech won. Box score. Choice got a touchdown pass from Nesbitt in the first quarter, and then Sizen hit a 45-yarder and a 36-yarder, and then that, and then that great play by Lupo to dive in the touch in the third quarter. But Virginia Tech couldn't pull out in the fourth quarter, and Georgia Tech scored only 13 points. It didn't matter. They win the tournament. Unbelievable! Georgia Tech is your champion.